Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out Discord if you want to do that as well. And here we are. Here we are. It's been a little while. I haven't made a video for a little bit. Uh, and I probably forgot a lot of stuff. But I think we're going to just jump right into working with the back end stuff for the inventory. Because we got started with it. And just to do a little recap. Um, we worked on pretty much just extending stuff. Initializing uh, this item array. Uh, initializing the size of it and everything and we're gonna have a capacity for it which is gonna hold the max amount of uh, values it can hold and number of items is gonna be the actual amount of real items there are in here not just free spaces so pretty much that's how it's gonna work and the next step is gonna be to add some items to our stuff now do we want this to be a boolean? Sure. If it fails, we can return true or false. Whatever. We can keep it as return false here just for now. So the first step is going to be to actually take this item and shove it into our item array. Now, it's not going to increase in size since we're going to give it a set amount of size since it's an inventory. It's not a real dynamic array in that sense. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to check if it's full already or not. If this number of items is greater or equal to this capacity, then we're going to, no, if it is less than the capacity, all right, else if it's not, we're going to return false. Pretty much very simple. Step one is going to be to actually add the item into the array. But where are we going to add it? We want to add it in the next free slot, right? So this item array at position this number of items. All right. And we want to increase number of items at the same time as we add this item in here. So I'm just going to do a plus plus. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase the size of number of items after it assigns an item to the array. That's why I have the plus plus here and not before. If I do it before, this is gonna be increased before I add the item in. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna do it after. And then we're just gonna do a new, new, uh, let's see. No, we're gonna do item dot, no, what is it, item clone we need a clone function for item okay so now we know that i haven't done that yet but that's pretty much what i'm going to do and the item is going to clone itself and that's a pretty complex kind of thought but we're going to look into that it's not too hard so let's just jump into the item class real quick open that up and we can see it's pretty much empty right uh bow all this stuff is pretty much empty just update and render and visual stuff, nothing back end stuff. So what the first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to make sure item is a um, very much a abstract class. So to make it an abstract class, I'm going to force my item to have this clone function. And it's just going to be item pointer clone equals zero. And you want to make sure it's virtual. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to force us to have this clone function in any class that inherits from item. And also it's virtual. So we're going to kind of go up the tree. And it's going to, depending on the item, that item's clone function is going to be called. So you'll all, you'll all fall into place as we go along. You don't have to define it in item. What we need to do now is we need to actually define it in all of these other ones because they all inherit from item. And that's going to be a pain in the booty. So we better get started. Let's start off with ranged weapon here. And this is going to be a virtual clone. Like that. Virtual ranged weapon pointer 
clone. All right. And what does bow inherit from? It inherits from ranged weapon. Okay. So if ranged weapon has a clone, we need to actually set that to zero as well to make sure that is taken in by the bow as well okay so i'm gonna have to think here melee weapon needs one of these as well it's all okay it's already a hold on i'm gonna put it right up here it's already a abstract class so we're good we're gonna set this to melee weapon pointer make sure it's a pointer as well on all of these since we're gonna return an exact copy a new dynamic memory back through this function so you'll see how that works in a minute i'll try to explain it with a image as well in a bit maybe not in this video but in a video to come uh, functions functions okay now all that's left to do is we need to define these in here so virtual clone and this needs to be bow pointer clone and nothing is going to inherit from bow so we don't have to kind of go ahead and make that abstract at all so i'm just going to define that boom don't have to do too much more right now go ahead in here as well uh i'm not going to define that there right here sword pointer clone i'm just going to go ahead and set that to virtual as well clone and define it so now once you have this defined for sword and bow, I'm going to open up the CPP files for sword and bow, and I'm going to go into clone. And what you want to do here is you want to do a return this, but, but, you need to do a copy of this, all right? So new bow dereferenced this. Now this might look really weird, but I, I'll try to show this to you in a video or in, a, in an image in a little bit but it's going to return itself basically a, a copy of itself not just a pointer but a copy of itself uh, return so what would this be it would be sword new sword sword this okay so there you go so anytime items clone is called from our inventory Whatever we call this, this is a generic item, remember? But it's going to hold either a bow or a sword. You never know, right? You never know what it's going to be. It can be any type of item. And once you clone that in here, it's going to go through all of these. It's going to go into ranged weapon. First, it's going to go into item. It's going to check this. Okay, this is clone function. It's virtual. All right, let's check the next class in line. Okay, ranged weapon inheritance from item. All right, it's a ranged weapon. Cool. Go into that clone. Okay, it's abstract. Let's jump into the next step. Okay. The last final class in the inheritance kind of hierarchy thing is bow. So, okay, we're just going to call bow's clone. And then that clone function does the actual work, which is it returns a new bow. And that makes our life a lot easier because we don't have to check every class item might be. We'll just let the class itself take care of that for us. And that makes it a lot easier for us. So let's just check if this is correct. If our number of items is less than capacity, okay. We're going to go ahead and add an item to it. One thing I forgot is we need to... No, I didn't forget. See? Get ahead of myself sometimes. We did increase number of items right here. So we're good. And we return true. Otherwise, we're going to say, okay, return false. And then we can check, okay, it was too big. Or the, the inventory is full. Now, if we want to remove something, uh, we need to check, first of all, if this number of items is greater than zero. All right? Because if it's not, there's nothing to remove. And we'll return true in here. And what do we want to remove? Well, we need to remove something from a certain index, right? And that's kind of the thing here. Now, an inventory actually should be in 2D array, I'd say. It doesn't have to be, but it would make it a lot easier for when we're clicking in the inventory. So I'm going to think about that. But for now, we'll just keep it 1D. And we'll try to figure it out. Um, but if we want to remove something from one of these 1D arrays, basically it's very simple, right? Want to just go to this or just delete this 
item array at position index. Okay, and it sounds simple, right? Item array at position index equals null pointer. Uh, so very simple, very simple. But we need to check what index is, okay? So if index is a certain value, we can't really, you know, handle that. If it's greater than the capacity or less than zero, we, would, we don't want to handle it. Uh, so if index is less than zero, whoops, uh, or index is greater than this capacity or equal to as well, we don't want it to be in that range, we're going to throw a exception and we're just going to say, or we could just return false here actually, return false like that and that'll just exit out. We'll say it was an error in removing whatever. If you want more information, you can do a throw exception thing and we'll, well, I'll put in some exception handling in here eventually, but for now this should be cool. Right, am I even recording? Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. So that's it. So we did make sure we can remove and add items. Also, we fixed the whole clone thing. Now, hopefully, we can move on from here in the next video. Let's just run this. It's always good to run it and check what's going on. Let's see. Okay, so it does run. No issues. Can't attack yet. So we're not doing anything fun right now. I should start doing some fun stuff. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys and girls. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I'll try to make videos more often now. I don't know what happened, but I just had a lot of work. But here we are. We're back at it. So take care. Keep learning. Keep working hard. Check out Udemy as well if you made it this far. I'll, I'm going to put up some, um, some courses up there soon. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, but for now, take care. See you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.